Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, guy who still uses Hawaiian Aloha Febreze as a date night cologne. Our top story tonight, an often unaddressed and ugly part of our culture, premeditated violence towards women was at the forefront of headlines this week after a lady was beaten to unconsciousness while some witnesses even encouraged the assailant. And I'm told we have a video of the events that transpired shortly after the attack. Even the people that booed me, thank you for the noise. People that cheered me, I like you even more. Thank you. Ugh, truly disgusting. But what's even more is she was paid off to do it by a group that likes to call themselves Ufka. Yeah, I don't know either. Must be like Eastern European or something. In other news, the friend who still owes you money just bought an Xbox. On Tuesday, after 40 years and several marriages together, delightful pop culture distractions, Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy announced that they were splitting up, leaving us all wondering, wait, so Muppets were able to get married before gays were? In sadder news, Hitchbot, the hitchhiking robot, was decapitated in Philadelphia this week, unsurprisingly, while attempting to cross the country. Luckily, Hitchbot's legacy is survived by Skynet Bot and Enforcement Droid, who I'm sure carry no ill will towards humanity. So in the OC, Chino was supposed to be like white people Compton, right? Is that right? On Thursday, the Republican National Convention held its very first Donald Trump quote generator, in which the aforementioned Donald Trump candidly stated that he was able to buy politicians, proving he's the type of candidate Americans want in their leader, a sugar daddy. Person we're all six degrees too close to, Kevin Bacon, stated in a satirical video this week that Hollywood needed more gratuitous male nudity. In related news, Hunger Games affiliate Lenny Kravitz did not get the memo that the video was satirical. Sorry, what's... Oh, okay. I'm being told that YouTube will not allow us to show an unblurred picture of Lenny Schlong, so I will just describe it to you. Uh, it kind of looks like someone tried to make a bran muffin with a tray that was five, maybe six times too deep and then stapled that muffin to Lenny Kravitz using a gold keychain. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get in shape. Tomorrow. This week, stylish headphone enthusiast Dr. Dre released his third studio album after having been caught up watching The Daily Show with Jon Stewart for the past 16 years. Hey, it coincides almost eerily. Hey, who was in uh, who was in forgetting Sarah Marshall? Was that Rachel Bilson or Mila Kunis? World-renowned fish carnival Sea World this week posted an 84% loss in profits since the release of the film Blackfish, marking the first time violence against blacks was taken seriously. What really? Rachel Bilson's career has gone nowhere. Man, I don't care what anybody says. Cell phones peaked at the Moto Razor. There's no closure without the flip close, right? And that's it for your apathetic weekend update. If you got through the video relatively seizure free, feel free to like, comment, share, maybe even subscribe. I've been your host, guy who's totally going to get around to learning that guitar one of these days. Good night. I really need to stop ending these things with me eating. <laughs>